The kids are hungry. It's time to eat. We are just about to take you guys on a house tour, and they're all starting to be, we're hungry, we're hungry. It's <laughs> actually me. She's blaming on the kids, but I was like, I need to eat now. I'm getting hangry. Aww. So we're going to quick make our HelloFresh box that we just got in the mail today, and then give you guys a quick house tour. So come along with us. Let's make some dinner and show you our beautiful, renovated-ish house. <laughs> In process. In process, Renewed. but some rooms are done, so we're excited to show you, but let's make dinner first. Let's see what's for dinner. One of my favorite things about our family is family dinner night, which is, no, no. <laughs> every night. Which is every night. Um, family dinner night. Family dinner night, which is every night. But that's one of the things that, you know, you kind of remember as a kid is like those family dinners and we try to be really intentional about having that on a regular basis, not just like eating dinner on the run. So this is going to be really helpful. Well, this that. just makes it so much more sustainable for me to not be stressed because meal planning is, it's a lot of work guys. And I don't really have the time just right now in the season we're in. So this just makes me feel like I am succeeding. <laughs> and we're eating well, and we're eating healthy, and it's sustainable, it's budget friendly. Well, I think, I think it's easy to get stuck in a rut of like a couple of different meals because you have the ingredients for them, so this makes it really easy Spaghetti, to... spaghetti, exactly. Exactly. tacos, Pizza. spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so this makes it easy to do like a whole bunch of different new recipes without having to go and buy all of the ingredients and then have all this extra stuff. If you guys want to get some money off for this, I reached out to HelloFresh and they are offering us a discount code. You can Ooh. use FFP90 to get $90 off five subscription boxes, but of course it can vary per what subscription subscription you choose to get. So that's exciting because I want $90 off too. <laughs> no kidding. So if you follow the link that we're going to post for you, it's going to automatically give you that discount. So click on that link discount is taken into effect. Yes. Mushu pork bowl, Ooh. cheesy prosciutto, prosciutto wrapped chicken. Wow. Or tostada suprema with pork. Ooh. I kind of think like yeah, the I'm mushu the pork, pork, bowl. pork bowl. That looks really good. Let's and that's like different than what we normally do. Two scallions, ground pork, coleslaw, soy, sweet soy oh, it's all, oh, look at that. Oh, it's so all it's actually all, it's already split up. Mushu pork bowls. Oh, there you go. So Fresh uses 90% of their ingredients. They source directly from the farm. So basically farm to box. <laughs> Not farm to table. Farm to box to table. Farm to box to table. <laughs> We're gonna get started on this and then we don't need to show you guys the whole process, but I want you guys to stick around because I'm gonna give you a full tour video. My house is all beautified for the holidays and then we're gonna give you a full house tour. Wow. Stay tuned. Guys, another thing I forgot to mention is that we're going in the RV next week, so I ordered two boxes of this so that I have all of my meals planned and already sectioned off. All I have to do is literally put my bags into the fridge and freezer in the RV and we're good to go for our meals. We're heading to full Hey. Nothing but a party. Tell me why. There ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell, Tell me why. why. I, I never want to hear you say, I want help. That's the island feeling I can give to you. Oh, oh no, let's. <laughs> I lost my shoe. Oh. Good? So hot. So good. That is good. Dinner is ready. It's so good. And we're going to quickie and then we're going to take you on a tour. Let's get going. Dinner is over and it's the next day. It was a long dinner. <laughs> we just put the kids down to bed. Last night we got distracted and watched a movie and had some wine and we're like, we'll do it tomorrow. So here we are. Let's go on our house tour. Let's go. Ben just hung this chandelier today. I don't know if you can see them, but there's thousands of mosquitoes up there. We've decorated our front porch just a little bit, but we have some corbels going in and some other things that are still gonna happen here. Um, of course, we hung our home sweet home sign. I don't know why I just saying that. I feel like I should be in a musical. Welcome to our home. No? Very much. Okay. Nailed it. Should I sing the whole thing? Oh yeah. No. Let's head on it. This door used to be red. We painted it black until we can get it replaced. Let's lock those mosquitoes out. This is the front entrance. We've just made it cozy um, with Christmas tree and some seating. Let's talk about our home decor. Everyone's like, you've bought so much furniture. We've had this rug for 14 years. I've had it since my first apartment. 
I got these chairs off the marketplace for $100 and this is the $30 couch and my mother-in-law gifted me that hutch and that tree was $15 off Craigslist. So <laughs> I bought a lot, but this room cost maybe $200. Anyway, let's keep going. We have replaced these light fixtures. These are new. And as you've seen before, we are doing the tile in the laundry room. We just found a guy to come and grout it today. So the grout is just drying. It'll be ready to walk on tomorrow. Thank the Lord, I want my washer and dryer back. Come on in here. Um, if you go this way, this is our kitchen, which you saw a little bit earlier while we were making dinner. But it, it's all gonna look different in probably about six months. We're gonna rip more, we're gonna rip 90% of it out. But right now it's fine. We have Formica countertops and it just, it feels nice. It feels cozy, but we will be um, doing this, demoing this and redoing it as well. I found this heart at Round Top, Round Top Vintage Market and I've always wanted like a wood heart. So I just love that. So we're set up for Thanksgiving right now. And as you can see, we decorated the tree in the background last night while we drank our wine and watched our movie. And yeah, it's just kind of a cozy living room. The size of this room right here is the size of our kitchen, living, and dining in the last house. Mm -hmm. So it's substantially bigger since we have this whole kitchen space to add on. So it's not a lot bigger than our last house. It's probably only about, what, 500 square feet bigger? Yeah, five, 600 square feet. So this house is 2,700 square feet. This okay. one? Yeah. This one's like 3,000. So this house is 3,000 square feet. <laughs> Our rooms are a lot bigger here though. Yeah. But it's the, most of the square footage is in the bedrooms. Right. Which yeah. we really like because the kids can play in there and they have quality time and we have a larger room. Mm -hmm. Our lovely chandeliers that you might recognize if you saw our last house, we've taken these chandeliers with us everywhere. We have two there that we hang and then we have one in the kitchen. So those again were the chandeliers that were in our wedding and we've taken them with us into into every place that we've lived, which has been a lot of places. So I have this wired like those chandeliers. Move. I've wired those chandeliers like 13 times. Yeah, so, yeah. And they're still working. You're a good husband. We have this shoot rug that I found on Craigslist from this really wealthy guy in Austin. And that's exciting. That's a centipede right there. So we'll get that in a minute. Texas, guys. Texas and their bugs. Anyway. So we have the living room shoved this way quite a bit right now to fit the tables for Thanksgiving. But look at these cute little napkins I got. Thankful, grateful, stuffed. Hmm. Thought that was funny. No? Okay. No? Do you all think that's funny? Oh, ha 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 ha. So as you know, we have quite a few different Christmas trees in our house and uh, the way that we figured out works really well because I like decorating Christmas trees as well, but I'm really not good at it. Well, so what we've what we've compromised on is I put the lights up uh, at first, and then Becca puts everything else on. And then I change the lights that you put up because they're usually uneven. It works out great. But you know what you do do for me? I carry them and set no, them up. Yeah, you do do that. But mm -hmm. I hate putting them away. I do, I, I do put them away. And you put all of them Lucky away. Lucky me. You're so involved. You're such a, good, <laughs> such a good man. I do a great job at it too. You are so good at it. Yeah. Good job putting those trees away. Thanks. Where are we going next? Down her. Originally we were thinking we were going to take this wall out and put a really um, rustic island here. But we've decided against that because we like the noise blocking and we like that there's not an island for the kids to run around. It's kind of nice having that space that's just tucked away where they can't like be in our feet while we're cooking. And we like that leaving it doesn't cost $10,000. Yeah. So the laundry room will keep you updated as that progresses. We were going to take you up to the kids' rooms, but they didn't want them to be filmed, which we're going to respect. So we're just going to leave upstairs off limits and just let the kids have their own space up there. But they are adorable. But sorry. I don't know what to say about that. This is the bathroom that Ben left a mess per usual. Yes. But here, this is the, what is this, the sink stopper? Yeah. Are you going to install that today? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So here's the little bathroom we're redoing. Um, the light fixture we spray painted and we're going to put back up there, but it just didn't look right. So I'm going to order one. So it's still a little bit dark. But if you remember a couple of videos ago, we were demoing this. It turned out really cute. Got some marble counters at a discount, an Amazon sink, Amazon faucet, Target mirror. 
really budget friendly but looks so cozy and warm which I love. I'll put this back in the sink. Um, and when you take a left it's Ben's office. Ben, I'll let you do this, but you're no longer working in a closet. I know, right? So tell us where you used to work. I've honestly never been excited about an office in a house, but now that I work from home, this is like my favorite part of the house. So this is, this is my domain slash storage. We're not done. As you can see, everything is just kind of shoved onto shelves and we haven't really put it together. This desk came with the house, which was fantastic. It was actually over in the guest house and I moved it over here and it fit perfectly right between these bookcases and right out in front of the window here. Okay, go. So next to Ben's office is our bedroom, which is super nice that it's separate from the kids. The last house, you could touch our bedroom door and touch the kids' doors like this. So it's nice to have some separation. We watch TV in here now at night. Just to have more separation for my parents as well when they're here in town. So let's head on it. This year I put a Christmas tree in our room. I just got this little baby one. I think it's so cute. And then um, I found this at a um, antique store here in town and then Ben got this fireplace off Amazon and built it in there for me and it's nice because it doesn't put off heat but it just like does the ambiance of a fire and I'm that's one thing from Washington I really miss is our wood fireplace so it kind of just gives me that like warm cozy feeling and we have our very ugly TV on the wall which I despise but I love 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 watching TV in bed I didn't think I was going to but I love it because we go to bed like four hours earlier because like when we're feeling tired, we don't go like, oh, just one more episode. We just fall asleep. So that might be unhealthy, but it's been healthier for us, <laughs> right? The last bedroom wasn't big enough to um, have a dresser in here or anything. So it's nice having some space in our bedroom. That's a whole new thing. Come on in here. This is our bathroom that will be gutted. So see it while it lasts. This is just the toilet room. We have a closet in this house. The last closet, we just had um, the bifold doors which I felt like was totally fine. We just switched out our seasonal clothes a bit better, but this one works great. Um, it's interesting actually, because I have so many clothes that I've owned for like 15 years. It just makes me realize how much I can get rid of. After RVing, I just don't need it all. And it, look at this. This, what? This is all winter clothes. Oh, and this was winter clothes. This is all winter clothes. So in reality, this is what I can wear here in Texas because I haven't worn a single one of these at all. And in Washington, I'd be wearing like 15 of them to go out to the grocery store. So this bathroom will probably be gutted in 2021. That's our plan. Um, our plan is to take this out and put a big walk-in shower here. Right now, there's this lovely shower that is so short. <laughs> the ceiling is so short. It's just like you're in an RV bathroom. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And it's like enclosed. And you better believe before I ever showered in here without my shoes on, I scrubbed this thing for how many hours did I scrub this thing? Like five. Literally for about five hours, I scrubbed it. I was like, yuck. This is the shower I was just in, but there's another shower. What? In case you don't need one, you need two. You can shower over here with this very short shower head as well. <laughs> Guys, I am 5'10", and this is just like, that's not cool. Oh, and in case you want to hit the light switch, you don't have to go very far. You either. don't have to go very far to hit your light switch because it's in the shower. In the shower curtain as well. So when that water oversprays into your outlet, you can also get a new hairdo while you're getting electrocuted. Ah! So we don't shower in here because that's one gross and two sketchy. And this will be ripped out. This wall will be taken out and hopefully we'll put a cloth at tub, replace those windows, replace everything. So anyway, that's the end of our house tour. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week. We're heading out to Florida in two days. It'll be great. We hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Hit us up over on Facebook. Facebook, I meant to say Instagram. But Facebook, or Facebook works too. Hit us up on Facebook and Instagram where I'm over there daily checking in and 
having private messages with people if you want to tell me things or have a conversation. Okay. Anyway, see you next week. And remember, you're never going to look back on your life and wish you had less adventure. Am I right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Since we're in the tub, let's just finish this vlog out in this really nice, glorious... My favorite part of the house. What was that MTV show? Cribs? Yeah. Welcome to my crib! <laughs> Wait, this should go like this, actually. Welcome to my crib! <laughs> <laughs> that should be the intro.